Assignment time. This first assignment, I also have to introduce lesson files and how they work. You'll see that these numbers indicate something in the front of the video. This indicates chapter one, and if you go through, it's chapter one, video one, two, three, four, five, and you'll see video one appear here shortly because I always have an introduction to the lesson. So, also what I did is I made all the lesson files correlate with these numbers. So if I go to lesson files, I could find certain lesson files in my lesson file folder with the chapter one in front of it. These are the ones I need to pay attention to. Okay. For this assignment, please note if you're a teacher, you need to separate something from the students there is a student copy and then there's a finished copy okay so just know that uh, you know, not that students do weird things every once in a while but the finished one could be easily made to be their finished one if you know what I mean hint hint so I would separate these out if you're a teacher here what I want to do is open this student copy up I'm going to close all windows. For me, I'm going to hit save so those windows don't pop up. And I have this a wide variety of junk here. Okay? And this junk was a house at one point. So, if you notice, there is another thing, 0101, which is a PDF. And if you click here, it allows you to see what the house used to look like. Now, I've shown you several methods to be able to move, rotate, scale objects. Know that there is no scaling of these parts, so you should not scale anything. Everything is at perfect scale. The thing that you have to worry about is moving and rotating the parts to put back together the house. Okay. Now, I've taught you everything to be able to do this very quickly without a lot of work. But you have to kind of look through the videos to be able to know what I'm talking about. All right. So it all depends how much work you want to do and how closely you paid attention to the videos to find out ways to do this without really um, doing a whole lot of work. Okay, so I'm going to leave it up to the smarter students to find that out. And for those that really need to practice on navigation, um, you should probably do it the old-fashioned way. So we'll see who finds the secrets of the universe first and who does not. Uh, but in the long run, you are going to have to manually put pieces together. It all depends how much you want to put into that. Okay, so don't forget... Uh, each one of these are rotated differently. They're all moved differently. Uh, so, you know, you could go in here and go like this and move and rotate it into position if you wanted to. And that's what I'm talking about. All right. So, enjoy. That's your first assignment. Make sure everything's on the grid. Make sure everything is clean. There should be no shape nodes or anything like that. But if you want to put your house all the way together by combining it, that's that's perfectly legit too. So sometimes it's easier to put like the railing together and then combining it. But I'll leave everything up to you. I don't want to give anything away. All right. So enjoy the assignment. And when you are done, I want the MB file turned in. So Maya binary. So file, save scene as. And you'll see Maya binary be down here. That's what I want. Put your first name, last name, chapter one. Alright, enjoy and have a good one until next chapter.